Today is our Divine Light Healing Circle. And today we have the theme of the alignment of the highest high. And with that, I'm calling in first the gold through the golden sun over our head to connect with our higher self, our soul self. One ray of the golden sun floats into the top of our heads. Every single cell of the brain, eyes, nose, mouth, throat, neck. Golden light floats into the shoulders, arms, hands, and out of the fingertips, along the spine and muscle structure in the back, into the heart and chest, opening both wide, into the solar plexus to make it more radiant, into the whole digestive system, into the hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and through the feet into the ground like roots taking all negativity away and burning it off in the stream of golden light and at the same time nurturing mother earth with the golden stream of our soul energy as we are anchored to her in this reality and then we are letting it overflow from the heart into the aura the electromagnetic field strengthening our field and letting it grow letting the golden light grow in our auric system easily and naturally and expanding the golden light like a golden light bubble securely into our room and also creating a buffer layer around the golden light to transmute and transform other people's negativity and build out the second golden layer as copy and pasting our golden ring of fire around us and then around the room or around the apartment or around the house. That means we have the gold, then another transformatory layer, for example, like purple or blue and another gold. And around that open last layer, I would like now to envision the silver mirror by bringing in white silver sparkling light from the universal oneness to detoxify and deteriorate all the negativity lingering around in the atmosphere on our planet and in our personal fields to transmute and transform and detoxify with the white silver or silver sparkling light flowing into the top of our heads into every single cell of our brain eyes nose ears mouth throat and the neck white silver and silver sparkling light flow into the shoulders unburdening us from the day into the arms hands and out of the fingertips along the spine and muscle structure, into the heart and chest opening both wide, into the solar plexus to make it more radiant. White, silver and silver sparkling light flowed uh, through our legs and feet into Mother Earth for recycling all these detoxified energies, but also sending this white, silver and silver sparkling light down to the core into the crystalline structure and matrix of Mother Earth in living their crystalline good in Mother Earth and then bringing it out from the heart like a fountain and let it flow into the golden light field of our auric essence so that the white, silver and silver sparkling light can smooth over all energetic holes making our energy field vibrant and detoxified from other people's malignant thoughts or projections or criticism or whatever happens throughout your day. May it be detoxified right now that you can focus cleanly and purely on the work at hand. And then we send it out from the heart further 
to the outer rim to build a shielding against any kind of negative influences. With that put in store, I'm calling in now all light beings and guiding ones who want to be of service from the highest high of source. Whoever of the highest high wants to work with us on the healing of our own selves and also the bodies and the minds and spirit and emotional bodies of others. I'm calling into the circle now all the light beings and guiding ones. You might hear or know from which dimension your helpers are coming, which joining you to the right and to the left and joining our circle. And as we are breathing in light and breathing out light, the frequency will be getting higher and higher. And as we see now upwards, we see the golden strand of soul and a white silver sparkling light strand. And together when we look at them and follow them further and higher up, we are going towards the one star we once were where our souls were undivided, pure energy of light. Go up as high as you can imagine, way before you came here onto earth, way before you ever had a physical three-dimensional life, way before you ever got split into a group of souls, group souls, even higher up before you ever were split into half. Even before that, where you were in total oneness and wholeness. Send your direction to this highest high of oneness where you are in wholeness and oneness. Shoot up like an arrow as high as you can see yourself shooting up with your awareness to the highest core to the highest level, to the highest dimension you can obtain. And there connect with that star self, that higher self, that undivided source self, where you can truly feel yourself like an aspect of the all-in-one divine in oneness and wholeness. Note whether you might see a crystalline structure swirling around you as you are connecting with that energy field which you once were before incorporating structure. Sense and feel how wide you were once, how wide and how limitless and how unencumbered How joyful and blissful light 
on all levels. In case you see a multifaceted star outside of yourself or within yourself or around yourself, that would be the Merkaba. That light form and structure is that which condensed you into the physical form along the path of light from the 24th dimension down to the 12th and from their physical form and its ether form was given to the 11th, 10th, 9th, 8th, 7th, 6th, 5th, 4th and 3rd dimension. When you are understanding yourself like a multi-layered being See how high you can connect. See the light expanding from your physical form upwards, like you shoot a light flashlight into the dark skies. And then a responding call of light comes from the nice skies back to you and they meet and they anchor themselves into each other so that a stable connection is created like a stable telephone light of light. Feel and see how natural it feels to go in and up this staircase of light. Like an elevator where you can step in with your spirit and go up, further higher up. At the same time right now, feel your feet to be well grounded while your spirit rises up high into the sky, into the ethers, and further and higher up into the spirit form you once were. And when you have created this elevator effect and you can easily flow up or down, the connective strand to the source, the highest source connection you can obtain. I would like you to bring one aspect of the highest tie with you like a treasure, like a seed, like a seedling of the best quality of existence, whatever there is. The seedling of the highest high vibration rate you can obtain. And then bring that seedling into your heart and let it multiply from there, activating every single tone in your DNA strand. Realize that the 12 strand DNA is connected to vibration and tone and color. by bringing the seedling in from the higher order and let it be anchored into the heart and let it ripple through your DNA from the heart 
your DNA will pop up to the higher form of vibration. See how every single strand of the 12 strand DNA gets illuminated with white, silver sparkling and golden light and how it pops open into a crystalline structure like a miniature star, connecting again completely and effortlessly with the being where you were undivided in your core being. Let it ripple through your body, the physical body, from the head to the toe, from the heart to the hand, from your hands to the heart, up and down and right and left it flows. Wherever the energy touches your DNA cells, they pop open like little crystalline stars. Re-establishing contact like myriad miniature antennas of light. Your hands might get really hot as the energy rises. We are calling now in all the being of the light and Christ consciousness and even higher up to assist in this activation and taking away all the grid manipulation, all the boxings, all the artificial restrictions whether we put them upon ourselves or they will put upon us by others in time and space to reactivate the purity of the one star source all the way on all levels from the highest high to the lowest low our physical form. And as you burst open with the light, and you open your myriad petal self like a flower. There's harmony emanating from you like a perfume wafting in a room. And as we are now prepared we're calling in all the light beings and guiding ones who want to assist us to be and work on the 12th dimensional level. That is the highest mortal being. And with every single breath, we are lifting ourselves up to the level of the 12th dimension. glowing like a chandelier full of light on all levels.
and you might see yourself in a circle of other light beings which also look like illuminated chandeliers of crystal light. And in the center of all these star energized beingness forms itself a crystallized sun. Christ and all, Christ consciousness and crystallized in the center like a supernova sun. Into that supernova sun now, we are calling in all beings from our list. All beings who are suffering from cancer are invited into the supernova of transformation with the white crystalline diamond sparkling light. Cleansing and clearing low vibrations and smoothing over all energy holes in the body of those plagued to risk cancer or cancer after Mars. It is like a baptism in Christ light the supernova of the higher frequency level. Next comes the long list of emotional distressed people. We calling those in from our list into the supernova of light, that also the distress layers in the emotional body, mental body or spirit body will be burned off, transmuted and transformed by clarity, crystal clean light of one and oneness. as we understand that we are all interconnected and we are here to support each other, not rip each other apart. And with understanding, we send these beings into the core of the love and light, which we're holding space for. Next are all the people with heart problems, heart surgeries, or any other complicated surgeries or surgery after mass. You're welcome in our circle and invited into the glory of one. And as all that distress of physical diseasement evaporates and the perfect healthy heart emerges in the ether form to be taken and brought back into the physical form, scars heal. Emotional dis-ease falls away like an onion layer not needed anymore. Dark cancer cells which multiplied into tumors just shrink on itself and fall away. As our next group are people with MS, where the lesions are calmed 
and smoothed over where all that which hindered perfect movement, perfect body can now be cleansed and cleared, detoxified and burned off. Eyesight is strong, brain is clear, neck and back is strong, heart is strong, nerves are calmed to fulfill their duty perfectly. Walking is easy. And there is a sense of clarity of mind, knowing that everything can be transmuted and transformed when the reason for the diseasement falls away. And as I'm watching people get worked on by the unified oneness of love. I see a lot of pictures emerging. People reunified on the other side, bound by their love for each other in unconditional ways. Hugging each other and kissing each other overjoined to have found each other. Finding love, finding union, as it's meant to be unconditional. And so all the people in the circle and in the core center of the supernova oneness getting reunified with this unconditional love experience. Whether you have it here in 3D or not, you are getting a hug by spirit right now. You are taken care of. And with that, we are sending greetings to all of the ones we know and remember, which walked the past before us, crossed over loved ones, and acquaintances which are now on the other side and might get a sneak peek here onto our work. So be not surprised when the one or other soul which you knew shows up today in our circle. And with that comes a wonderful, lighthearted and uplifted butterfly feeling as nothing in the world could keep you down, could keep you sad as the butterfly wings tickle your heart to take things not too serious. but to just open yourself to the light, inhaling it and exhaling it like a big stream. As we are calling in the people who have COVID, long COVID, vaccination problems, 
or anything related with viral, bacterial, or other diseasement. Also, long standing diseasements like Lyme and such. Anything related to viruses and bacterial infections. All those can now come into the circle and bathing in this purifying white silver diamond sparkling light. I'm asking now for the highest high to come forth to heal people on our list as much as they allow it and are open for it. Also the children and the animals who came here to support and are afflicted by 3D densities All people who suffer from old age, diabetes, Alzheimer's, nutrient deficiencies because of war, or who cannot afford the food they need, can now be nourished from the unifying Christ light and from the higher source, even higher than that available. Be aware to ground your feet as there is an acceleration of vibration happening now. And further on our list, we call in all the ones with chronic disease and ailments, polarity disorders, energetic polarity disorders, to correct and bring to the next level our physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual well being. We are asking now for everyone on the list to get what they need to feel better, safe, secure, healthy, happy, whole, and loved. So that everyone can be a vehicle of light and soul frequency on this planet. And therefore be part of the transformatory frequencies which this planet needs 
to go to the next level as well. Again, the next layer of restrictions are taking out. As your energy expands one more time, easily and naturally. And breathe this new beingness in all the way from the highest high down to the feet to anchor it into the here and now. May your feet be the small part of a huge funnel of light. And then from your feet, it goes radiating out into Gaia, into Mother Earth. That she gets this light healing for all beings on the planet as well. any kind of disease on the planet, misalignment in flora or fauna to find equilibrium and burning off or bounce back that which does not belong into the highest order of things. You might pay attention to the helpers, which are now descending onto or into our circle. Pure light beings helping and assisting your work. And as we are made of water, we invite now also the water kingdom to cleanse us as we are cleansing it, sending this white silver sparkling light to detoxify and purify the waters in our body, in in Gaia's body as well. In case there is a blockage in your body, it might be felt now. Then send these gold sparkling little beings, maybe also sparkling with color frequencies, which we sometimes call nanites with God's consciousness and awareness into those spots in your body to fix which need fixing or to balance which need balancing.
as you're becoming the nexus point between the above and the below, you expand into more light you can hold. Love and light shining bright in our bodies and on the side. Love and light shining bright forevermore on the side. Put this little formula into your feed so that you bring light wherever you thread, wherever you go, wherever you walk, And bring also symbol of light, maybe the godly flame into your hands with the intention that everything may be better when you touch it. And bring the glorifying flame of source into your heart to keep it open into your throat to speak the truth with gentleness and kindness and into the third eye center to see with x-ray vision of the divine seeing the bigger picture being in the world, but not of the world. As we are connecting very consciously with the higher divine essence of which we truly are, where we are still firmly with the feet on the ground, in a body but never forgetting any more who we are in oneness of source. And sometimes when we might see a shining bright crystal or a sparkling white light, the light frequencies in our body will be confirmed and opening up to a higher encoding, receiving light or light language or light codes. To be a simple gateway of the highest order. Now we're calling in the last people on the list. All the ones who do not need that strong healing, but also ourselves and dive into this glorious white, silver, sparkling diamond light center into the core of the supernova and basing off all that which hinders us to be the best being we can be. Bathing in this sparkling divine light of oneness.
And while you're swimming in the light, think about something you can be grateful for right now. and send that beam of gratefulness energy into your future and into your past, that it shines out of you like a beacon of light, like a lighthouse. That you understand that you always will have enough of what you think you lack whenever you ask your own higher source to assist you in this three-dimensional density. With that, we release all people on the list back from the spirit form into their physical forms to reintegrate easily and naturally the light vibration they received into their respective physical forms. This particular integration will be going on for at least a week, if not a month. As now this spirit of each and every one is consciously connected to the divine light oneness of source and healing and higher order. Always connected means never ever disconnected. So you all have always that connection at a fingertip. If it helps to remind you through a difficult time, tap with your finger onto the crown, onto the third eye or onto the heart. And just say simply, remember who you really are. Eternal soul, having a human existence, an illusionary human existence for an experiment and a reason. But that's it. And when this experiment or experience gets too heavy, you're allowed to reconnect with the one self, with the soul self, with the divine light of who you really are. It is always freely given. burning off discomfort. Let this be your seed you're planting into your daily lives. The seedling of the highest order, taking it up into our heart and to grow from there, into our hands to grow from there, into our feet to grow from there and also into our solar plexus to grow from there into our connections.
see how your networking of heart and mind connects you with other like-minded souls. See how your heart light sparks a flame in another and another and another and another. And how the darkness on this planet illuminates itself through the many heart flames of the divine. With that, I'm bringing in the energy again to the core of self, feeling the feet firmly grounded on the floor, feeling the body, this temple of our soul, this space suit of our soul. And being grateful for what we're experiencing. Till we meet again. Plant some seeds today.